Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are gonna talk about weight loss surgery. My personal experience with it, uh, how I felt about everything, and if I would do it all over again if I had the chance to. So let's get into the video. All right guys, first things first, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider hitting that subscribe button, be a part of my YouTube family. Also, I have a support group on Facebook called The Shrinkables, that link is below if you'd like to join us over there as well. And as always, like this video and comment below if you would because it does help the algorithm and it tells YouTube that you guys like videos like this one. Secondly, I am not a doctor or a nutritionist. This channel is just my story. It is my journey to lose a total of 200 pounds from my highest weight. I share absolutely everything with you guys, but I am in no way uh, someone who gives medical advice. So if you do have any questions at all, always make sure to check with your doctor first. All right guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is just kind of give you a little bit of my story, a little bit of my background, because it does make a huge difference uh, when it comes to my personal opinion on weight loss surgery and everything that I've kind of been through. So I have been an obese person my entire life, as far back as I can remember. My entire childhood, I battled with my weight. Uh, my teenage years, I battled with my weight. I was always the, you know, the fat friend. I was the fat daughter, and that led into my adult years and I just continued to battle with my weight my entire life. It's always been something that I have struggled with my entire life and as uncomfortable it, as it was all those years, it was my comfort zone at the same time. It was uncomfortably comfortable. It was what I was familiar with, you know, just growing up that way and, you know, we, we always adapt to our situations and as uncomfortable as they may be, that's what we do as humans, you know, we adapt to our environment and that is exactly what I did. Being obese was just something that was a part of me. Like it was just, it was my life, it was who I am. I had accepted it, you know? That being said, I was never happy, you know? Like I like I said, I was, I felt like I was trapped inside of this body that I didn't belong in, but I didn't really know what kind of life I could have. I just, you know, I would try to imagine it and I would try to uh, picture this dream life for myself, but because I had never experienced it, it didn't really feel like reality to me. It didn't really feel like something that I could achieve one day. As a child, I was constantly on diets with my mom. We would always be trying to lose weight. I had a different father than my two older brothers that I grew up with. And my metabolism uh, was a huge part of why I was obese and that I did get from my dad's side of the family. My mom struck, always struggled with her weight too, so when she would go on diets, I would go on diets with her, and that started at such a young age, so I just, I had that mindset, I had that mentality that, you know, those yummy, bad, bad foods that tasted so good were just really horrible for you and you needed to stay away from them, but the more that I stayed away from them, the more I wanted them. And so that just developed into this horrible relationship with food that I carried in to my adult life and I just never really recovered from that. I felt like I had been trying to lose weight my entire life. I mean, I've just tried everything, been on diet after diet. I mean, I did Jenny Craig and Atkins back in the day and keto and paleo, Weight Watchers, low calorie, low fat, you know, everything that you can imagine. If they say you can lose weight, I probably tried it. And then it was just the yo-yo dieting over and over and over again. I would gain weight and then lose weight, gain weight, lose weight weight, gain weight, lose weight for years and years and years. And at the age of 30 years old, I reached my highest weight of 374 pounds. And at that time, there was a lot of 
stuff that I was dealing with in life and I didn't have a good relationship with food. You know, I used it as my comfort. I mean, it was always there for me. It was always there to make me feel better temporarily because obviously we, we deal with the, the guilt and the shame afterwards. And so it's only a temporary fix, just like any type of drug, you know? And that's exactly what food was for me and is for me. It's a drug, it is a drug. And it's just that temporary fix. It's gonna make me feel good in that moment. But the second you stop, all of that shame, all of the guilt comes and just you feel completely overwhelmed with it. And that is my huge issue. And that is something that I am cur still currently trying to fix to this day is my relationship with food and my food addiction. So I reached my highest weight of 374 at the age of 30, and I ended up moving down to uh, Florida to be with my dad and my stepmom and my little sister, and I did uh, end up losing some weight. But again, just the yo-yo dieting again, I lost about uh, 90 pounds, I believe, in a year, and then ended up gaining it back. I actually got back up to 350. And in 2015, I was like, you know what? Enough is enough. I am done. I am done with the yo-yo dieting I am done with just trying absolutely everything and just failing at everything I just you know it wasn't good for my mental health I just kept failing at absolutely everything that I tried so feeling like I just had nothing left I started to explore weight loss surgery one of my friends just had the surgery and the thought crossed my mind like wow you know would this be an option for me and so i did my research i researched the heck out of it and really prayed about it you know like god is this for me is this the next step for me and i felt with all of my heart weight loss surgery was going to change my life February 2015, I had gastric bypass surgery. I think back to that time and I just remember how incredibly excited I was. I was so excited to just go through the process of changing my life. I was ready. And that's really what it comes down to is the mindset. Like, are you truly ready? Yes, there are risks, but there are risks with any surgery that you have. Even the most simple surgeries out there, there are risks. So definitely uh, doing your research, talking to your doctor, making sure that it is the right option for you is key. And for me, it was definitely worth it. I was ready to commit. I was ready to follow all of my doctor's rules. Whatever they told me to do, I was ready to do it. And I was super successful. So I ended up losing 126 pounds within a year. And it was amazing. I didn't have any uh, real complications. I did have issues with my gallbladder and I did have to get my gallbladder removed and also I had an incarcerated hernia that they had to repair. Other than that, um, everything was smooth. Nothing went wrong and I was super blessed in that department. No complications. I honestly felt like I could do anything. I was on fire, you know? I was losing weight, it was coming off fast because when you follow your doctor's rules, the weight comes off fast. And it did, even though uh, when I was in the middle of it, it didn't really feel like it was coming off as fast as it was. Uh, but then looking back, like hindsight, you look back and you're like, oh my, my gosh, it like basically, it pretty much felt like it fell off of me, it melted off of me. And that was an amazing feeling. I was 318 pounds the day that I had surgery and I got down to 192, that was my lowest weight. Got into Wonderland, what an amazing feeling it was. But I still felt like the fat girl. My mind never caught up with my body. And that is very, very common, especially when you have lived your entire life uh, being an obese person and then it, you lose the weight super, super fast. It takes a while for your mind to catch up and my mind never did. I never looked at myself and saw someone thin. I didn't see anyone, I didn't see someone healthy. I still saw, you know, a 300 pound girl because that is what my mind was my entire life, you know? And you have to live that life consistently for a while in order for your mind to catch up and mine just never did. And after I had lost all that weight, my husband and I decided to have a family and have children of our own. And we had to go through IVF, 
and we had Ozzy first, and then we had twins, Jack and Riley. And between the IVF medications and then the pregnancies, and I had lost weight so very quickly, so I never conquered the addiction. I never fixed my relationship with food because it just happened so quickly. I ended up gaining about 100 pounds back, and then I had to start over. So there it is, my story, my background, where I came from, you know, what kind of issues I deal with, why I got the gastric bypass surgery, how successful it was for me, but then how quickly it turned around for me because I didn't deal with the issues that I needed to and I just didn't have the time. I just kind of jumped into uh, being a mom and then just, you know, through the medications and just like everything that caused me to gain that weight back. I just kind of had everything uh, against me. So <laughs> let's talk about uh, people saying that it's the easy way out because I can actually see both sides of that. So I do want to discuss that. My brother actually came to me uh, back in 2011, my brother on my dad's side, and he told me that he was thinking about getting uh, gastric bypass surgery. And this is before I had even, you know, it had even crossed my mind at all. And so it was just definitely not an option. I had just lost 90 pounds coming back from Florida. I felt invincible. I felt like I could do anything. And so I knew nothing about weight loss surgery and I told him, don't do it. It is the easy way out. You know, you don't want to go down that route. You can lose the weight, no problem. Okay. And that is because I knew nothing about it. I knew nothing about weight loss surgery. I had never done any research and I was just assuming I was making assumptions that it was the easy way out. Being someone that has experienced it now, I have actually gone through it. There's a part of me that says that it's easy and there's a part of me that says that it's absolutely not the part of me that says it's easy is not counting any complications like that not counting like if you had anything go wrong obviously that's like a whole other part of this but if you do everything that you're supposed to do if you follow your doctor's rules if you eat what you're supposed to eat if you follow the rules and you stay on track it is easy, at least it was in my case. I lost the weight very quickly after weight loss surgery and that's because I followed the rules. I did what I was supposed to do. So a part of me is like, okay, is it the easy way out? I wouldn't really say the easy way out, but it can be simple if you make it that way. And then the other part of me is like, it's not easy because weight loss surgery is just a tool that is going to help you. Just like keto is a tool that will help you, just like Weight Watchers or Paleo, any type of lifestyle that you choose is just a tool that's gonna help you get to your goal weight or help you achieve that healthy lifestyle. It's just a tool. The real work comes in your mind. The real work is the discipline and the consistency, you know, how, how dedicated you are to living that life. You literally have to change everything about your life after weight loss surgery. And really, you should be changing everything about your life with any type of lifestyle that you choose in order to get healthy. It doesn't matter what you do. You still have to change. So no, it's not the easy way out because you still have to change everything that you do. Just weight loss surgery is gonna give you that boost, that boost that you need. And if it's worth the risk, which you have to weigh out, you know, are the risks worth it for you? If it's worth it, it's gonna give you the boost that you need to reach those goals. And if you follow the rules, it'll happen fast. You know, that is why there is such a long process to getting weight loss surgery. You know, most insurance companies require a waiting period. They require so many um, visits with your doctor. And most surgeons will require you to lose a certain amount of weight beforehand because they want to make sure that you are serious about this. It is a serious life change and I am the type of person where I'm very impatient I want things to happen fast and I think that is one of the reasons why I was really intrigued by weight loss surgery because it happens fast the weight comes off I was willing to commit I was ready to commit to this new healthy lifestyle and I was ready for the weight to come off fast because that's what I want to see that's what 
that's the part that intrigued me the most, you know, like just the results were fast. But if you're not ready, if you're not ready to change your life, if you're not ready to change your eating habits and, you know, replace that self-destructive behavior with good, healthy habits, then you will gain your weight back. I did. Yeah, I had some things going against me, like, you know, pregnancies and IVF medications, but I could have tried to stay on track way more than I did. And everything just kind of happened so fast and I just ended up gaining the weight back. And it was devastating for me. And now I am left having to start all over again. Now the real question comes in, would I do it again? If I had the chance, I am currently losing my weight again with keto. I started this YouTube channel when I was 291 pounds. That's 99 pounds higher than my lowest weight of 192 after weight loss surgery. And keto is a tool that is helping me get to my goal. And I'm doing it, you know, but it takes hard work and the hardest part of it is the mind it is the mental part but i am doing it i am i am successful i lost over 70 pounds in a year doing keto this time so the question has popped up in my mind did i need to get weight loss surgery or could i have lost the weight on my own doing keto just like i am doing right now and that is a really good question so do I regret getting weight loss surgery? The simple answer is no. I do not regret getting weight loss surgery. Number one, because weight loss surgery got me to a healthy weight very quickly so that I could become a mom, so that I could have my babies, and I had healthy pregnancies, healthy babies, and I'm so thankful for that, because it's not healthy carrying babies when you are obese. You know, yes, you can have healthy pregnancies. Yes, you can have healthy babies even being obese, but the risks are higher, right? So being able to carry my babies at a healthy weight truly meant everything to me so no I don't regret it at all also it is still a tool that is working for me today so it has been seven years actually February 12th of this year it's gonna be seven years uh, for my surge anniversary and it is still a tool that is working for me today I still can't eat a bunch of food or I'm gonna feel sick I can't eat a bunch of sugar or else I'm going to have dumping syndrome which is pretty much like flu-like symptoms. You know, you just have like the sweats and you feel sick and you get headaches and you just feel like crap, okay? And as much as it sucks, it is a constant reminder that I don't need those foods. I don't. There are parts of me sometimes that, you know, that I wish that I could eat a little bit more of like, you know, chicken. Sometimes I'll eat some chicken and it's like my stomach is small so it can only hold so much and chicken is like my kryptonite. So it'll make me feel sick. But that's also a reminder that I need to eat slower. I need to chew my food, you know, like all of those healthy habits that they teach you going into weight loss surgery. It is a reminder. It's also hard for me to get a lot of water in during the day. So, you know, and that's because of my, my weight loss surgery and I can't drink water after I eat. So there's certain things that are kind of annoying, but I definitely would not say that I regret it at all. Do I think that I could have lost the weight without weight loss surgery? Yes, I do. Doing it now, and being successful and choosing keto as my tool to get me to my goal, uh, yes, I do 110% believe that I did not need weight loss surgery. I do believe in my ability to lose weight. I am confident that I would have been successful if I would have been able to commit to it, but I wasn't in the right mindset then that I am now. And I think life experiences and everything that I went through after weight loss surgery that brought me to here, you know, plays a big part in that. So I could look back and say, oh, you know, I wish that I didn't get it. But no, I don't have any regrets at all, but I do believe that I could have done it without it. So if you are someone that you are thinking about weight loss surgery, you have to change no matter what. 
You have to change everything you know. The way that you eat, the way that you think, the, you know, your entire lifestyle. And if you are ready to do that, then you have to figure out, is weight loss surgery right for you? You know, like, are you willing to live with it for the rest of your life? Me personally, I don't have any regrets. I'm happy that I did it because it brought me a lot of happiness. It brought me a lot of success and it's still a tool that's working for me today, like I said. So I don't have any regrets at all, but I do believe that I could have lost the weight without it because I'm doing it now. So you just have to make that decision for yourself and know that no matter what you choose, no matter what type of lifestyle you choose, it is just the tool that's gonna help you get there. The real work comes in here. You have to have discipline. You have to be consistent with yourself and it takes hard work and a commitment to yourself and to that lifestyle. But no matter what you choose, you are so capable of achieving success. All right, guys, those are my thoughts on weight loss surgery, my personal experience with it, if I would do it again, and my advice to you guys. So if you did like this video, make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And don't forget to join my sport group on Facebook. We would love to have you over there. All right, guys, I'll see you at the next video. Stay safe and juice health. Bye.